once again. Today we're going to talk about GG1, Analyze Models of the Earth-Sun Moon System. So the first thing that I want to go over is this idea here. A characteristic that is left out is called a limitation of the model. So when we're looking at this question, the question is, what is left out of this model? Is it the fact that the model doesn't show movement of Earth around the Sun and the Moon? Is it the fact that the model does not show distances between Earth, Moon, and Sun? Or is it because that the model does not show the size of the Earth compared to the Sun and Moon? Uh, please be aware that it says select all that applies, so there can be more than one correct answer for what the limitation is. Alright, so for this question, it says to read the passage answer the question below. Uh, the main thing you want to look at is on this part here. Earth is about 240,000 miles away from the moon, about 93 million miles away from the sun. And their model they chose to represent 1 million miles with one step. So keep that idea in mind because this is going to be important for this passage here. So she should hold the blue ball 93 inches away from the yellow ball is what it says. Or if you click it, it says 93 steps away. So keep in mind that um, change here where it says 1 million miles is one step. Um, right here, it talks about how she wants to represent the distance between the Earth and the Moon. So she should hold the gray ball 4 inches away from the blue ball. Or it says 4 steps away from the blue ball. Once again, in this particular part of the question, we're actually looking at the fact that Earth is 240,000 miles away, which is a lot smaller than 93 million miles. Um, also, keep in mind that um, you have either inches, steps, or 240 steps to use as the example. I can't. Earth is a lot closer. So for this question, you just got to keep in mind that the arrow represents the orbit of how the objects are orbiting around the respective objects. So using that information, you're going to have to then place these items here in the correct order to show what is orbiting what. For this question, it's asking you to do some conversions. Um, it tells you straight up that it takes one year for Earth to orbit the sun. And it takes the moon um, 12 times to orbit the Earth in that same time frame. So in a year, the moon orbits the Earth 12 times. So you have to figure out how many days does it take for Earth to orbit the sun. So you got to convert your years to days. And then for this one, um, you just have to convert the 12 times into a specific number of days. And if you're not sure, think about how many months there are in a year. So here the question lets you know what uh, rotating is, which in this instance means that it's constantly spinning. And it also lets you know that Earth rotates around an imaginary line called an axis. So those two pieces of information will be quite useful in labeling this diagram here. Um, I assume most students will be fine with labeling the North Pole and the South Pole. Um, the main tricky question will probably be right here, whether it's going to be direction of rotation or whether it's going to be direction of fit. For this question, the main thing you need to know is that one rotation takes about 24 hours. And then for Tony in this question, he spun the globe counterclockwise and completed one rotation about six seconds. So for Tony in this model, six seconds is equal to about... 24 hours because he did a complete rotation in six seconds. So the question is now is asking you got to convert that to just one second. One second of rotation represents how many hours? So you got to do a little bit of math there. Right, and this very final question it's going to ask you what exactly are the limitations of the model or what is exactly shown in the model to help you understand what models are. So once again, does it show the fact that Earth orbits the sun in this model? Either choose yes or no. Um, does it show that the sun's diameter is bigger than the Earth? So look at this picture of the Earth. Look at the picture of the model. Does the sun look 100 times bigger than the Earth? Next question is, Earth is more than 350 times as far from the sun as it is from the moon. 
So if you look at the distance between the Earth and the Moon here, and the Earth and the Sun there, does it seem 350 times further away for the Earth and the Sun compared to Earth and the Moon? Uh, another question is, the Moon completes 12 orbits around the Earth each time. So does it show you, does it show that the Moon is orbiting around the Earth 12 times each time Earth orbits the Sun? Uh, and the last one is Earth rotates. Does it show in the model whether or not Earth is spinning?